Hi guys, welcome back to another video where today we are back playing The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution on the PS3 2 Now today, we are, we are doing Okay, channel 65, we have to go to channel 65 to see I think he's open I think I was wrong. Oh, but why does this place actually look beautiful though? Oh, look at man! You okay, little man? Don't worry, daddy's got you, daddy's got you. Well, that means I'm gonna have to travel. To oh, fucking hell, that looks beautiful. Is by water, but the man's closed. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in, please. I, sh I can smell you. Remember, this is filled with walkers. Should we just start getting killed until my cleaver is like gone? <laughs> Fuck it. Gang, what's up? Damn, it's good to see you. I'm not gonna punch you like last time. You don't care that I punch you, do you? Oh my god! Uh. Oh shit! Then again! Then again! Then again! Then again! Got your bolt cutters. Yep. I always wanna see if I have them. You know I have them. Let me use them. <laughs> Exiles have a request. True. Ammo's in short supply. Mm -hmm. They got weapons, I guess, and people who know how to use them. But if you want them to fight with you, fight with you. Need bullets. And Sorry, you. Deputy tourist, enter the star of our show, Billy Bolt Cutters. We can start stealing what we need from the tower. Sneak it out to the exiles. Echo, you can help us with that. For sure. Like your face. Oh, bye bye. Dear New Orleans, Finally. In case you forgot, here's a reminder. The Pond King always delivers. Our doors are open. Yeah, fucking finally, mate. Been waiting since the crack of dawn. This has taken nearly an hour to do. You better have some good in it. Oh, I thought it wasn't here. I thought it wasn't here. Right, man, but I have some good fucking news. <sighs> Oi! Little cunt. I'm gonna be up front with you, right out the gate. I backed the wrong horse. I admit it. And I'm hoping we can put my fuck up in the past and work on setting things right for the future. You're a coward. Garrick threatened you and you served me up on a silver platter. You're a piece of dog shit, you? you fucked me over. You're a piece of dog shit, Sonny. You fucked me over. You have every right to be angry with me. But put yourself in my shoes. Garrick said he just wanted to talk to you, okay? So, I had to make a choice. I got my daughter to think about. Now, 
I don't like being on anyone's bad side, but I figured I'd avoid the bad side right there in front of me. At the time, it was the correct deal. What do you know about that? <sighs> what do you know? Eric and I were friendly a while back. Ooh. Told me all kind of messed up stories from his army days. Bomb disposal unit, hardcore stress. Can't imagine it. But then he disappeared for a stretch. I guess he spent some time out in the bayou. When he returned, he was fucked in the head. Dark. Claimed he put all that tower bullshit behind him. Was rolling solo because he couldn't trust no one anymore. When he started ranting about you, I lent an ear. He's got it in his head that you killed his wife and daughter. Now, I'm not gonna judge you for it. It's none of my business whether you did it or not. But Garrick thinks you did. And no offense, but from what I know about that dude, I'm surprised you've lasted this long. Father Carter's gone silent. Haven't heard from him in over a week. This could be catastrophic. Uh... That is bad news. When people drop off the radar, they usually don't return. Yeah, I know. I haven't slept in two days. We lose the Padre, everything we busted our ass to build is gonna crumble. The Exiles really trust the guy. Get over to the French Quarter and see what the hell is going on with him. Stick to the daylight when you go looking, will you? For safety's sake. And yes. when you find him, if he's still breathing, send him straight. Lay some of that tourist charm on him. Whatever works. But we need to keep him in the fold. I'll set him straight. I'm not above roughing up a holy man. Just be persuasive. I don't think you need to break any bones or cut off any thumbs, okay? Make sure he understands his role in all this. That is not just about our takes, but helping the Don Trotty. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Stuff he likes to hear. I'll see you when you get back with some good news. All right, you little fuck. Let's skedaddle. This will be done. Let's go rest in place. All right, so I'm going to sleep. Then I am going to not end the video, have a little break. Then get back in business. So I'll see you after my little break. Alright guys, we are back. We've got loads of supplies and stuff and whatever. And now we are going to check on Father Carter to see if he's still alive, breathing. And to check if he is well. So yeah, let's go. And by the way, I totally did not take a huge two month break from this game. Two, it's either two months or one month or three months. I don't know. Uh, Hotel Eclair. Here we are. Excuse me, snare? What the? Alright, let's do this. Ah, ah, ah. Well, I didn't know what to do. There's a depth in my soul, never sounded or known. You singing to me? Place in my memory, my life that you feel. Oh, okay. Who did it? Who did it? Came to me with the proposition. If I turned my back on my people, she would welcome me into her inner circle. The chosen, she called it. Some nonsense like that. The fortunate few who would ride out the coming storm behind the safety of the tower walls. She said that my talents would this be music's amazing. In the dark times ahead. Uh Dark Times? Dark Times? What's that about? She didn't yeah, what is that about, bro? Right? I railed at her with a rage I never knew was in me. You've been mewing? What the fuck? Bye 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 bye. been mewing I mean, do you see this jawline do you see the cheeks bro you have been i don't see a single fat on you bro you're like my friend connor elsie get back together 
but so am I. Hey, you have my word. Get back together. I will, I will punch you. <clears throat> Let's go to the speakeasy, boys. Here it is, boys. The speakeasy. Come on, come on, me. Push it open. Voila. That's gonna be the thumbnail. As expected, not open. As expected, dark as shit. Let's walk upstairs. Yep. Yep, all those closed. Those doors are the only ones that's gonna be open. Uh. Maybe not? Oh. I forgot how to get into the speakeasy, guys. My bad. That's the crucifix. So this place is infested, as you guys can see. But there's gonna be waves of them coming. Now, in the game, in the Oculus game, this wasn't here. This actually might be useful. This actually might be useful, boys. Can I grab that last one? No. And I'm pretty sure this whole place is going to go on fire. So we've got another one here. If we need to use it. we got, like, three, bro. Fall on my knife. Oh. <laughs> All right, door systems. Yep. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, behind me, behind me, behind me, behind me, behind me, boys. What the fuck? Bro, die! We're stuck in a corner. Where we need to go, we need to go. Um, let's open the door. Now, supposedly... This... Should have... Some really... Oh, this does. It did have it does have some really good stuff guys. And we got the cross. Alright. I wanna keep this. But you don't get out with stuff in your hands. I didn't even use this man. Let's get out with full working chainsaws. Unexpected. I saw you. I thought I saw you down the street among the dead. Back. Have you been drinking again? Did you find her? Yeah. Let me see. I got her. Right here. Hello, mother. I can do this. With your help, I can do this. You could do this. Put uh. My misery. 
One bullet through the brain. Whoa, hold on a second. Think this over. Take a day or two. Sober up. I've done nothing but think about it. There is no other way. End me. <laughs> You're judging me. You. I can see it in your eyes. Disgust. You revile me. You want me to suffer. You want me to wallow in torment. I see it now. I've been blind, but now I see. You are the slithering, unholy beast walking among us. <laughs> This is mine, and this is mine. We're going home, boys. Yep, I, I had it in my mind, I knew. Before we go in, I want to see what this thing can do, because apparently if you shoot some, like, something or someone in the belly, their body parts go flying. <sighs> it's crazy. All right, are you ready? Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. Got it all good. Got it. Oh shit. Surprise, surprise. There ain't no time for clowning. It's Garrick. Dude's been crossing names off his shit list. And we're next. He's after you? How'd you manage to piss him off? It ain't just me. Everybody in a five block radius is in jeopardy. Garrick is the lunatic who cranked the bells for three days in Old Town. That's actually and not true. To my sources, he's coming for Bywater next. Uh, the tower actually done it. If you, if you haven't seen my whole story series on this game already, uh, the playlist is lit. I've literally like the playlist is. I've linked this video to the playlist, so check it out. You oh can't fuck! Find the power situation worked out yet? Grenade launcher. Oh shit! With all this Garrick chatter, I forgot to ask about the preacher. All oh! This is killing my brain cell. He's dead. He's dead. Don't ask. Shit! I knew it was bad. World we live in, huh? Doesn't matter though, I guess. We it probably needed that bullheaded son of a bitch in the first place. Exiles are better off without them. The trade network will be just fine. Just fine. Okay. We, might, we just have to create some bombs. Alright. I'll see you in a minute. 